kind of a interesting place for a meeting. Well, you know, have you ever been so far up in, like, the air that you only see the clouds? A few times. You know, like, the idea of, like, walking along the clouds and being amongst them? That's why I like this place. I know there's not much to look at, but, I mean, I don't know. It's that sense of being able to walk among them. That exclusivity. A nice place to relax and meditate mm -hmm. reflect so what do I have the honor of having the madam herself here how can I be of assistance dear I left huh yep that's who I've been with the entire time okay Okay. Uh. Did, wait, did you not know I'm with Ella? No. Because, no offense to you in any way, but when you hear that your p possible little fucking sister gets kidnapped by them, and you get very angry, you tend to kind of ignore anything having to do with them without having to go on a fucking rampage. Listen, I'm incredibly sorry about... I, I assume you mean Flurry? Yes. Yeah. She has saved my life as I have saved hers. I think of her as like a little sister. I care about her deeply as I care about my own fucking kids. So I think you can imagine the anger that I felt when I saw that logo on my fucking eight-year-old daughter's birthday card. And having to sit there and lie to her. Mom, aren't those the bad people? Don't worry, honey. I think it's fine. I think he just got the card that's branded by them. I don't think he's with them. I'm sure it's fine. Mm. Well, I'm terribly sorry about this misconception. I did not in any way mean to deceive you. I thought you were just one of the kind folks. I want to be. Which is why... <sighs> what is your intention with my daughter? I just want to know. My intention with her? Jesus. Listen. That whole flurry business was done by one of our contractors. His name is, uh, Foreman. His plan was aggressive and stupid. In every way, I did not agree with what they were doing. This whole taking Flurry and all that nonsense. I met Flurry a few times at the meat rack. She even wore my hat. We took a big picture of it. It was a grand old time. I, I, Taking this poor little creature, poor little girl, away from people, I, I didn't see no sense in it. On my birthday, I should add. I'm terribly sorry about that. But I had no hand in that. I had no hand in assisting her capture or anything that matter. I was at the warehouse, mind you, when it did happen. But it happened all the way up there, and in fact, when I was at the warehouse, when LF was uh, attacking it because of the attack they did on us, I was helping one of the people get to one of the doctors, one of the people that was trying just to defend themselves, not fight in the middle of the whole big battle that was going on. They were just out on their own, scared and afraid. It was that, uh, that bird fellow that works at the meat rack. You know, the one that works behind the bar? Purple feathers and all that? I think I know who you're talking about, yeah. Not the one that runs it. He's one of the employees. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him. He'll even tell you and back up my story that I helped him get to medical. Didn't touch him, hurt him, anything. I just casually chatted with him. 
and brought them along. My intentions with dear little Evelyn are nothing. Kindness is my intention. I, back a while ago, um, there was this orphanage back in the, uh, I believe it was the waterfront of the industrial, whatever. It was, uh, I came to understand that this place was very run down. And the owner of it wasn't a really good person. Bad, bad son of a bitch. Hurting these poor kids. I decided to take it upon myself to save these children. I went there and I taught that mean man a lesson. The Valentes, however, decided to show up and try and stop me and everything like that, but they didn't succeed. These kids that were there in the orphanage, they're with me now on this uh, farm that I own, that me and uh, Skip, as well as uh, Firefly, uh, we, we all live there. These kids are being fed in comfort and are also being taught and educated so that they would not get back at this place. My intention is that when the next generation of children come, that when they look at synthetics, when they look at me, they don't see this monster. They don't see this thing to be afraid of. They, they see an equal. That's all I want. And I want to show that kindness back to them that we are not some monsters that just slaughter and kill people for our own benefit. We too are people. I am alive. I am a person with my own thoughts, my own damn feelings. Just like how I hated what they did with Flurry and how I enjoy the company of your dear daughter, her sweet kindness warms my heart. Even though I might not have one, I still feel that warmth. And with the children, I get to go back home and see and have dinner meals with and watch movies and play games and teach them about the world. It's what I live for. So my intentions with your daughter is to ensure that she has an understanding of what people can be like. And that it's not all doom and gloom and that these Robots or synthetics are monsters, or not people. They're just things that we use for services or cleaning up our messes. I apologize for what I did to that birthday. She invited me and I desperately did want to show up, but maybe that would have made things worse. So I sent the birthday card, a few credits and that little sheriff badge, because I thought she would enjoy it. She does. I suppose it was my bad and oversight that the whole LF branded card may have been too far. It's okay. You know, not all of us are bad, Sapphire. Not all of us want to murder, maim, and capture. Some of us do it because it's our job. It's what we get paid for. And there are some that don't always agree with the things that our own company do. But that does not mean I am disloyal. I will not have my loyalty questioned, nor my honesty. I'm loyal to these people because they gave me a life. And a place of safety and freedom. Where a world like Sephira or even outside it might be a bit more... Not nice. To my kind.
If you want me to stop talking to your daughter, I'll stop. No. No. I... I wanted to hear it from you. I... At the end of the day, her happiness is all that matters to me. Now agree. That girl has such a bright future. She is such full of life, full of excitement, full of joy. How does that not bring up anybody's heart warmth? You've raised a good girl, and I hope that she has a beautiful future. And that she's able to spread that joy further on. I know things can get a little bit hard when they get a bit angsty and, you know, in them teenage years, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm sure you work through it just fine. I already had to deal with it about five times. Four times. God. If those kids, those orphans stay with me for, I mean, they've already stayed with me for some time, but if they stay longer and they grow up in that age, I'm gonna have to handle like five or six of them at once. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be something. I hope this answered all your uh, concerns. I I need your word and your promise that any LF business stays away from her. Please. Any LF business stays away from her. I can promise my word. But if LF wanted to do something with Orlando Soccer, which I don't know why they would, I don't think they will. I think they're going to mostly stick with Zephira, but you never know these days. I'll make sure that she's safe. Even if LF is in the way, I'll make sure that I will protect her and get her to your safety. Thank you. How about that? Yeah, that, that work out? That's fine. All right, I can live with that. Wouldn't want that little sweetheart getting hurt anyway. I, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. I think you and me both. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, you're a good sword, Sapphire. I don't, I don't think you'd be a bad lady, and I think that. You have a, a decency with, you know, our kind, our folk. I don't mean LF, but... Synthetics. Yeah. I know uh, dragons such as yourself have also had hard times in the past. The dragon hunter business years back. That's still technically happening, unfortunately. Ah, Jesus. Well, I think in that regard, me and you can come to an understanding about not being uh, particularly liked and looked down upon. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Cruel bastard of the world. But hey, we stick together. <laughs> right. You all right? I'm fine, I just... I get emotional when talking about her. Need a hug? In your dreams. <laughs> uh, my dreams? What do you mean? I, I, have, I have a warmth capability and everything. I give the best hugs. Okay, well, a warmth capability to a dragon that does snow and ice things, though. Yeah, it'd be, it's perfect for you. It'd be nice and cozy. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, there you go. I knew I could convince you otherwise. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, there. You'll be alright, and she's gonna be alright too, huh? Right? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm hoping mm, anyway. Good. She's going to a barbecue later. I don't know how <laughs> that how that's how well that's gonna go. Ooh. Who's hosting a barbecue? I'm afraid I'm not allowed to say. I would say, but it's uh, it is actually secret, so 
We don't want, oh. you know, a certain Mr. Thorn overhearing about it, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that gentleman. Yeah? Yeah, well, you, you'd be safe in that. And if you go there, have a, I don't know, have a hot dog on me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, have okay, sure. For me. I have another question. That I can't have. Yeah. How do, how do I leave? Oh, you just go through that way. I, I, the, if you go straight on down the, you know, like the elevator that you came up in, it's there. It just they hide it in the wall. It can get a bit confusing sometimes because you're at the back opening, like where the fuck's the elevator? Yeah, but because up, what, the moment I walked through, down. it turned around. I went, oh shit! <laughs> you're trapped here. The only way down is through the clouds. Spread them wings and start flying. Okay. Wait! No, there's glass there. Don't break the glass. <laughs> I know, I know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, I'll eat you out. Okay. Fucking hell. Wouldn't be the first time I flew out of a window and shattered glass everywhere. No. How was her birthday? Did she have fun? She did. And tomorrow is going to be the okay. Halloween one, which has me a little bit more concerned, but... I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm. Give him my regards when you get home, alright? I will. I will. Thank you. <laughs>